Hey, today we're going to do something just a little different. We're going to be talking about something that's very near and dear to Judy and I's heart, and that is organ donation and the Donate Life program. And we'll get to that right after this. Hey, good afternoon. We are at the Petro in Mebbin, North Carolina. Wherever how you want to say that. Uh, it's Saturday afternoon. We're sitting in the truck. We've been doing a little bit of cooking. Went to Walmart this morning. Um, the biggest thing we did. You don't know? Don't tell me. Oh, uh, yeah. We watched the Ohio State football game. It's the, actually the first Ohio State ball game I've watched this year because our TV has not been working or we've just been in a place where we didn't have the service. So, Or we've been just busy doing other stuff. Or we've been driving. Yeah, but we like actually that. got to watch the ball game. They won 38-7. to seven. It was a Woo! good game. Go box. Yep. Right. We were kind of worried about this one because Wisconsin's pretty tough. Yeah. Actually, most of the Big Ten's pretty tough defensively. But, yeah. uh, but they're but one did. of the big defense teams. Yeah. So, so earlier to this morning... Oh, wait. Interrupt. And Jim's very fortunate... He likes sports, and guess what? So do I. We I actually am. sit around and watch football together. I'm so fortunate to have a wife that loves football <laughs> and basketball. She likes basketball even more than I do because yeah. she used to play. Yeah. And I, I actually know what they're doing in basketball. Yeah, I don't. You know, I'm lost. Football. I was a band geek, so I was at the football games. Had no idea what they were doing, but right. I can still cheer loud. Yes, she can. Even at the TV. Yes, I do pretty good. So anyway, we were going to trying to figure out something to talk about and uh judy had got out her donate life flag uh this morning and put it up in the window of the truck which she does often we have a donate life flag uh and uh there's a reason for that if you can see our microwave we've actually got a donate life sticker on the side of our microwave over there and that is something that's near and dear to our hearts um, we have it on our wing glass out front too you know out there Yes. Oh, so thing. do you want to tell them the story? Why? <laughs> Why is Donate Life so important to us? Uh, I have a nephew who is... We have a nephew. We have a nephew. Yeah, we do. It started out being just me, but actually Jim's always been along for the ride 17 years. <laughs> anyway, uh, our nephew Reese is an organ recipient. Organs recipient I guess. multiple multiple organ recipient how's that um he received his transplants when he was uh a little over a year old i can't remember how many months old he was and he is 17 now um but he went through a lot uh before all that happened he was in the hospital well for that full year of his life he kind of was on and off being home and back but with him his digestive system did not work right he needed uh, a stomach and small intestine and pancreas and liver um, those are the four organs he had transplanted his large intestines didn't work either but at that time they did not do large intestine transplants right. so um he doesn't not, i mean he has one but it doesn't function uh so um but he is uh, been going to public high school for the past couple years yeah. and um he's a senior in high school senior. he'll graduate wow. unbelievably <laughs> uh, well it's, it is actually believable well, he, <laughs> yeah he's a very intelligent kid um <laughs> but it's just you know t when he was born and, and what he went through until he had the organ transplant it was it's just a miracle he's here um it's you know it's just amazing uh what he went through and then uh to have on a waiting list for oh for quite a while uh, and he had the organ transplant done at children's hospital in pittsburgh we live about four hours from pittsburgh although with the night we found out he was getting his transplant i think your dad made like a trip in about four hours three hours <laughs> two and a half hours uh so we all rushed over to pittsburgh to the hospital and he was you know went through the transplant and, and he was else. a very 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 sick little guy when yeah. that happened um you know i'll uh, there are so many kids and families and adults who do not make it to yeah, see If you can a imagine this little sticker right here behind Judy's head. That no, was, we did not plant that. But. His, his skin was about that color because his liver, liver was so damaged. And uh, 
Unbelievably, the next day after the transplant, his skin was back to looking normal and pink and healthy. Um, it's just an amazing transformation, uh, I guess. Um, so anyway, we are big organ donation supporters. It has touched so many lives and even people that are out here on the road that we've met. Uh, we know fellow drivers that have had transplants. We have uh, drivers whose families have been transplant recipients or they have been transplant donors. Mm -hmm. in some cases um, and so it's just an amazing uh, program that we are highly supportive of and I didn't know if you wanted to talk a little bit about the folks we know or just the, the people that it's amazing how many people that we actually know that have been impacted by organ donation yeah and uh, one particular little guy right now actually there's a few on our list right now that uh, could use some um, prayers right now uh, Nicholas actually he um, was in the hospital at the same time Reese is they're the same age I believe around the same age um, but they were in the hospital at the same time and he hasn't been in rejection um, for quite a few years and he's having some um, really difficult things going on right now so um, so if you would um, add him to your prayer list, but he had the same syndrome as Reese has and uh, his digestive system had issues too, has issues uh, continually right now. He's running into some difficulties. So, um, but, uh, and then um, we have a friend of ours who's since been off the, gotten off the road and her name's Tammy. And she right now is going through some treatments uh, and she was a double lung transplant recipient and she and her husband Ronnie were out here I don't even know how many years but they were in a tractor and trailer doing what what we do um, and we met them on a load and have just stayed in touch and she's, she's going through some treatments right now um, for her rejection um, but she has had her lungs for ooh, 15 years I'm just trying to think of it because I think when we first met her she was 10 years into it so um, she's she's just really fighting hard there and uh, another driver friend of ours Jim and he actually saw our donate life flag out here and he'd actually we were friends on Facebook before we met and he came running up to the truck I think we were out in California mm -hmm. um, and and got to meet him and he has actually had two um, transplants Two different ones for kidneys um so he's he's still out here running around with uh darlene somewhere yeah <laughs> i think we run into him every now and then still going strong yep out in california we ran into him just here this year uh a couple months ago oh yeah months we ago. were on the uh the funky the robot, robot load. load we the did, robot we did load. a really neat load we'll have to talk about that at some point in time yeah uh, we'll do a video one of these days and i'll put a link right up here that <laughs> talks about some of the odd loads we've done over the years that yeah. we can oh, talk about. Yeah, that would about. be a fun out, odd load thing. Some of yeah. them we can't talk about and others we can't. Some can. of them we can't. So, that'd be cool. Um, and I have a friend of mine from high school, her son, Elliot, uh, received a, a liver transplant. And uh, he passed away not too long ago. Um, he, went, he went to homecoming, I think, and then a couple weeks later passed away. Um, he had some heart complications, had nothing really to do with the transplant part of it, but he had a defect when he was born and that was, that was his issue. But, um, I know Susie really misses him a lot and so do all of his friends in high school. Uh, and then we had another friend who had a double lung transplant from home and her name's Janet. And then we had a friend from high school whose mom, or not high school, college. Uh, college. <laughs> Brad's mom. And, and Jeff's mom too, Brad and Jeff. Brad and Jeff, well, yeah. yeah, I forgot about Jeff. Trinity brothers. Yeah, went to school with Brad, not with Jeff, right? Jeff wasn't around when I was Anyway. There. Anyway, and their mom, I, I think it was kidneys. I could, I, I can't be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure she had kidney transplants. And then um, Steve Perry, and I would be neglectful if I forgot about his cousin um, and, uh, and her uh, organ recipient. I can't remember Steve. I'm not sure what she had. I was thinking liver, but I can't remember for sure. Um, and then we had another friend of ours from home, um, Tim Bugner. He's uh, 
received a bone marrow transplant. And, and I'm saying all of these because these are all things that, just that people are that donated, we, that, that we just know. Uh, and, and I'm sure there's many more. And we, I'm sure there's more that I've forgotten because I just real quick was making a list in my head of, of people. Right. And then um, and with, with the recipients, we have friends, family members who have been donors. And, and that is one of the most difficult to lose someone is so hard. And then, you know, um, but being a recipient, um, being the family of a recipient, these people just, we can't, you can't even, I, I, I'm speechless. I, you just can't think of, <laughs> of the, the, the thanks and the, the gifts that they have given so many. It's like the domino effect, you know, you, you save one life and, and how it trickles down to family members yeah. and friends. You're about to see something I see almost on a daily basis. Judy's going to start crying. So. <laughs> no, no. I, I She's sorry. very sensitive <laughs> to everything. But, um, and that's why I love her. <laughs> just, just a few people that I know of. Eric Rohrbach, um, he was a, a, a coach where our daughter went to school. Um, he, she, he coached her in basketball when she was younger and very good friend and her his daughter and our daughter played volleyball together and and um, he passed away suddenly in his was it 40s 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 and he was an organ donor and and touched you know so many lives but saved I think eight lives I think Becky was saying yeah. um, with his organ donations and then a friend of mine from high school, her son died tragically in a car accident. And um, this is the one, <laughs> the one that gets to me. Um, had made the decision when he went to go do his driver's license that he wanted to be an organ donor. And um, so, you know, he was able to save lives. And actually their family is in touch with the man who, and Darlene, you know, it may be more than just him, but I remember the story that she shared of the um, the man who received Keegan's heart, and and how 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 touching that was. And um, I know one of our other driver friends um, lost their son, and he was an organ donor. And I haven't talked to her, and but I do know you know she she left a thing of uh, they've got to meet uh, the people that some of his organs went to. Um, and it's just, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> and I'm sure there's a lot more that I don't know about or that I'm forgetting that, that I, I hope people will respond and comment and share their stories um, on this vlog. That would be uh, awesome. I guess what it all boils down to is uh, it's just something that we are very big passionate supporters about. of. <laughs> passionate about. Uh, we're both organ donors ourselves. All of our family is. Um, in Ohio, you can choose to do that automatically on your license. And that's because in, in some cases, if the actual wishes of the person isn't known, if something happens, if there's nothing, you know, set in stone, then, you know, that it, it's, it doesn't happen. Uh, but in Ohio, you can choose to have that added to your license. And we do. Uh, so and it, we did even before Reese. No, we did even before the, Reese. Those so, things that we know, just thought. Dad, yeah. I don't have no need for them. Take them. My body's not going to be there when yeah. I'm... <laughs> um, so, uh, but anyway. So if you're ever in a truck stop and you see a little FedEx straight truck with a Donate Life flag hanging from the sun visor, the windshield. Yeah. That's probably us. Because uh, we're big supporters and we like to put that flag out just to... Just so people, you know, just sort of take a second look at it. You know, it might, you know, some trigger something in someone to say that, hey, I need to do that. Uh, so we hope so. And I have met countless drivers out here who I already know are donors. I mean, they, they yeah. see our flag and they say, we were getting, oh, I am one. It's really awesome because we've run into a lot of drivers that are like that. We actually were fueling one night and there was a big, uh, a very large, what do we call a large car truck, a big sleeper, probably a 150 inch sleeper pulled in right next to me and on the side, of the sleeper box, they had the Donate Life sticker, and I went over and talked to the gentleman, and you know, uh, I think it was his wife was a recipient of some type or another, and so they were big supporters also. So we ran into a lot of folks. So uh, if you ever, you know, come talk to us I'm about it. Door. So, yeah. um, and just, just some brief little things. 
Um, another person is added to the waiting list every 10 minutes. 22 people die each day because an organ is not donated in time. And one organ, eye, and tissue donor can save and heal more than 75 lives. You guys, that's just, you know, why not? <laughs> that's what I can say. But um, also, uh, I wanted to mention our exercise group. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we, it's called MOVE. And uh, we have a group of people that are just trying to get out and move in the trucks and, and do those type of things uh, with us on Facebook. And um, we had a little, just, hey, if you can make it through the first half, the first 15 days, you know, we'll, we'll do a little drawing for a prize or whatever. And uh, the winner of that prize was Petra. And uh, she messaged me right away and she says, you know what, she said, um, you know, whatever it is, could you just give the, that, that gift to Nicholas? Because she had heard the story of Nicholas and how, how difficult of a time he was having right now. And so we did. And Denise and uh, Denise, who is Nicholas's mom, was just, yeah. just, she just was so grateful and so thankful that she could do something for her son during the, the times that he's going through right now. Yeah, because he's 17 years old. And, you know, he's facing a fairly, uh, a, a great challenge ahead to have to go through another round of organ donations to be on that list waiting, you know, where basically they walk in and say, hey, it's time to go. Yeah. Uh, and to be that and going through that when you're 17. Um, you know, it's a lot different than when you were a baby, which right. was when he first got, I think uh, his last so donation anyway, was when he was we, three. We so appreciate her gesture. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, she didn't have to do that, but it's and she's got great people out there, right. folks. So. And that's another part of the vlog that that um, when we st when we talked about doing the vlog and okay, what topics are we going to do? We we wanted things that were positive and what's going out in this world that are right. that's great things that are happening that don't make the news. I mean, some of this stuff does, but some of it you think is is just news and it's just a one time deal and it's you know, but but this kind of stuff is a part of a lot of families' lives. Right. And that's what we're hoping to do a little bit of, is just to, just to share some of that also, um, the things that we see out here on the road, and we're, we're hoping we'll get some vlogs out here about, a hey, you know, great things happening out here on the road instead of all... Negativity. The, yeah, yeah, so anyway. So is that about it? I think maybe that's about it. And uh, you can, uh, Jim, We'll put a link <laughs> to the Donate Life <laughs> website uh, uh, in the description. The reason and, I do that, in case you've wondered, if you've watched these vlogs, you know, I sort of make fun of like, put a link in the description below. Go out and watch YouTube videos. 99% of them, someone is putting a link to something in the description below. And apparently no one has, has thought up a better phrase well, of how to describe that. So. Why put not? in a link below. So we'll put a link to that below. Once I come up with a new phrase, <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> so anyway, well, thanks for watching. Um, we are going to get back to our Saturday afternoon celebrating our Buckeye victory. And uh, I don't know what else we got planned. <laughs> so, but anyway, we'll catch you in the next video. If you like, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, forget God. to like and subscribe to the videos. And comment. No one ever does, but hey, you know, I can ask. Yes. Well, actually, people, people have commented, and we do appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, like and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video. Yep. Good night. So long. <laughs>